All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Now, along with the 500 other million things that are going on right now on JP as part of the, you know, brand new uh, movie movie celebration, we also have a second part added to the Broly story event right here, which adds several things, right? So I, I previously I did a video when this event first came out, uh, which went up to Sage 5. So we we're able to farm up the four new free-to-play units, the Coat Goku, Coat Vegeta, Frieza, and Broly. Uh, only Coat Vegeta awakened beforehand. Now they added, what, five new stages? No, six new stages. Uh, where we can get medals to awaken uh, Goku, Broly, and Frieza, as well as two new support items. Uh, the Chile and Lemo items. Uh, I have not actually looked into what those items do. Uh, movie hero category uh, increases the drop rate for this event. Uh, and then, of course, you know, here are the units that go ahead and awaken. The other thing about this is the Coat Goku and Coat Vegeta actually have extreme Z awakenings. Uh, I did a video earlier today uh, on the Coat Vegeta, you know, with his full EZA, because I had already rainbowed. Uh, all of these free-to-play units uh, ahead of time, right? But, you know, we, we had no idea that they were going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening along with the AGL Summonable Broly. So I was ready to already, you know, drop that video uh, earlier on the Coat Vegeta. Now we're going to go through the story uh, and I will awaken, you know, the uh, last three units as well as fully EZA, uh, the Super Saiyan Blue uh, Coat Goku right here. So... Uh, this the event picks up basically where Goku and Broly are gonna start fighting. Uh, it's basically like the way this movie works is that once Broly shows up on Earth, it's just a long ass fight <laughs> for the rest of the movie. Like that shit is it is really really good. So the other thing too that was so surprising, right, is how. We all went into the movie, like, expecting, like, we, like, we kind of, uh, knew that Vegeta was gonna fight first, right? And we were all sort of expecting Broly was gonna just absolutely destroy Vegeta, right? Then move on to Goku, destroy him, and then, you know, we found out about Gogeta and stuff, so it's like, okay, 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 so Gogeta will then come into the picture and take out Broly, but that's not really how it goes down. Uh, Vegeta beats the shit out of Broly. <laughs> then, like, Broly kind of gets the jump on Goku, but then Goku's like, all right, fuck it. Well, I'll just go Super Saiyan Blue. And then Goku starts whipping Broly's ass, too. So it's like the whole movie is really just Broly getting beat down. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what was uh, very unexpected, right? Like, especially like, you know, with the taglines, it was like, you know, Goku versus Broly, Vegeta versus Broly, Frieza versus Broly, Gogeta versus Broly. It's like, oh, Broly is just going to wipe everyone away until finally they pull out, you know, one of their ultimate trump cards uh, and views into Gogeta. But it's like, no, uh, <laughs> Bro Broly just gets dominated from pretty much start to finish. He's just relentless. That's the thing about him. Oh, yo. Look how good that looks. Like, the Shintani art style, it, it, it just meshes so well with Dokkan. Like, I really like the look of the Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta cards. Uh, you know, the Gogeta cards look fantastic. Uh, you know, we're definitely going to get a, you know, Dragon Ball Super 2 or a continuation of Dragon Ball Super or something like that. Uh, probably, you know, in 2019. Uh, I'm going to be very curious to see, like, uh, what the art style is going to look like for the, the series, right? If they continue the way that the Broly movie looked, like, that's just going to be best case scenario for everyone. Like, it's definitely not going to be able to hit, like, you know, every single week. It's not going to look, like, as good as, like, the Broly movie or something like that, right? But, like, they really could make it look very nice a lot of the time. Uh, and, you know, there is that scene right there. Goku kind of uses that new attack. He kind of locks Broly in place. And then that's where he's kind of like, oh, yeah, you're not actually, like, a bad guy, huh? Like uh, old Frieza over there who's uh, kind of a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, well, good old Frieza showing up again to bother us for the thousandth time. Uh, so what do, what do Goku and Vegeta do? Oh, let's just let... Uh, <laughs> let's... Let's let Frieza just fly away. Whatever. <laughs> no, no big deal, right? Uh, oh, okay. So, Gogeta super attacking right here, right? This actually leads me to uh, something I'm interested in. 
I have not actually gone through these stages of these this event right now. I don't know like what artwork gets displayed or anything like that. So I'm cu I'm currently wondering if they're gonna show uh, base form Gogeta like artwork for him here uh, in this story event. I kind of get the feeling they might actually do that because uh, we know we know we knew that there was uh, a base form Gogeta artwork in the game in the game files, but it's just the uh, the SSR for Super Saiyan Gogeta. It's just that, except his hair is black instead, right? Uh, I believe that was only used just for the teaser for uh, the new Gogeta Blue uh, Dokkan event, right? Like, you know, we kind of get the teaser and the news. We got it uh, this time one day before uh, the event went live. Uh, I wonder if, you know, the, that base Gogeta artwork is only in the game just for that teaser, or, you know, if they do, like, show it here in uh, 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 the uh, story event or whatever. Uh, the other thing, too, we, so we did not... We pretty much got uh, all the characters represented in the movie. I mean, I feel like they maybe could have made, like, a Piccolo, who is a movie hero support type unit. That would be a very good idea. Uh, obviously, the two forms of Veku, because Goku and Vegeta, once they try and, you know, fuse into Gogeta, they fail twice. And we get uh, fat and skinny Veku, so those could be added. Uh, you know, we, we basically got the Freezes. We got Paragus. We got a Paragus and Broly card. I mean, maybe, you know... I, I could say we could get a, a Paragus TUR, just a standalone Paragus TUR, but, you know, nothing really too crazy. They did cover uh, pretty much everything outside of uh, base Gogeta, but, you know, I, I do think the sort of, like, endgame Super Saiyan Blue versions that Goku and Vegeta have, like, in this final part of the fight with Broly uh, after he goes Super Saiyan, we don't have versions of those cards, obviously, in Dokkan right now. Like, you know, they could they could give us, like, a, a blue Goku and blue Vegeta combo card. Like, people have, have theorized maybe as an LR. Only thing about that, I don't know, because, like, let's think about it, right? If they gave us an LR blue Goku and Vegeta from the Broly movie, who, you know, you guys might have seen their, what their super attack would be. It was from that one trailer, right, where they combine attacks. You know, even though Vegeta's in the Gallic Gun pose, he does the final flash. It's very odd. Uh, and then Goku does the Kamehameha. Uh... If it was, you know, LR, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, they are definitely, definitely, definitely going to drop an LR, Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta eventually that will fuse into Blue Vegito or even Blue Gogeta. So, like, I I I'm going to be very curious to see how they do that because they really could, they could drop, um, like, a, like, I don't know, for the four-year anniversary, right? They could do... LR, Super Saiyan, Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, like, both of them, they have the exact same names, but one fuses into Gogeta, and one fuses into Vegito. like, that would be interesting, but that's my point, like, they could do so many different forms of Goku and Vegeta as Super Saiyan Blue, and, like, I don't really see how they would, like, the names would not be different, right, so these units wouldn't be able to be used, uh, you know, with each other. Uh, Alright, so it looks like they kind of skipped over it, but... Uh, Broly goes Super Saiyan because Frieza is watching uh, Blue Goku start to beat the shit out of Broly. And he's like, whew, man, I really would have preferred if Broly was winning right here. And then he kind of remembers like, oh, yeah, I remember what happened when I blew up uh, that, you know, that bald fucker. So Frieza just turns around and executes Paragus on the spot. It's it's like, really, like yo, Frieza really... <laughs> Paragus is sucking up to Frieza the whole movie. <laughs> And Freeze is just like, oh, I, by the way, I could kill you, and then Broly will maybe go Super Saiyan. All right, let's let's do it. And so you know, Freeze does that, points it out to Broly. Broly loses his shit. Oh yeah, see, there's the shot right there, I guess, where you know they do the kind of final flash Kamehameha. Uh, that, I mean, really, all that attack sort of allows him to do is escape, and then they kind of just pass off Broly onto uh, Freeze, and then you know, just Freeze is fighting Broly for a while, while. Um, <clears throat> Goku and Vegeta try and get their fusion done. But, yeah, Frieza... <laughs> Frieza was a naughty, naughty boy in this movie. And then, you know, Gogeta at the end is just like, Alright, Frieza, you... Have a, have a good one, Frieza. D don't try and come back and kill us again, please. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, yeah, here's where Goku teleports them away. 
Uh, and then Broly moves on to fight uh, Frieza, and eventually he turns his sights on Whis, although, you know, Whis is just... <laughs> Whis clowns on Broly so bad. He's just laughing his ass off. It, even Gogeta, though, like... Both Whis and Gogeta are so dirty, the way they... <laughs> the way uh, they handle Broly in this movie. Like, Gogeta literally is smirking the entire fucking fight against Broly. Like, he is so disrespectful. <laughs> so, uh, poor, poor Broly bit. All right, so is this... All right, so yeah, that's Frieza gets pounded down. I'm presuming there's, there's one more stage after this, and then that's probably where we might see the base form Gogeta. Uh, yeah, I could see them eventually adding in, uh, base form Gogeta. Like, when I say I could see, like, we definitely will get it. Uh, hopefully, I actually do want to see base Gogeta be a standalone card, though. Like, almost without a doubt, we'll eventually get an LR Gogeta. Uh, maybe what they would do is his SSR form is base, his CUR is Super Saiyan, and then his LR form could be Super Saiyan Blue, right? But, that's not good enough for me. I, I do want an actual base form Gogeta card. Uh, you know, it, it would be very easy. He, he could be a unit that would give, you know, 45% attack and defense to fusion. How about that? That would be perfection. That would be a very, very fantastic card. Uh, really, the movie hero and fusion category certainly does need a uh, strong support type unit. Like, you know, if there was some sort of card in one of those categories that could give you know all allies like three key and you know 40 percent or 35 percent that would be very very helpful oh uh, there is pandel but pandel only gives 30 percent attack right she doesn't give defense she doesn't give key so we certainly could go with an upgraded version so here's uh vegeta his outfit gets completely destroyed you don't even really get a good look of how vegeta's outfit gets destroyed they're kind of just like clashing with broly and then one second later vegeta's armor is gone so you know here's where they fuse are they going to show veku no they're not okay so yeah they do use the uh that base form gogeta right there again if you guys look at it that literally that's the exact art for the super saiyan gogeta as well right there uh, you know, just they made his hair uh, black instead. So, you know, we'll, we'll see eventually what they decide to do. They did Again, they did give us pretty much everything from the movie. There's one or two extra cards. Oh, you know what they didn't give us, though, is all the Dragon Ball Minus stuff at the beginning of the movie, right? Like the new Bardock. They could give us a King Cole, a Frieza, you know, young Paragus, a new King Vegeta. They could give us all that stuff from the beginning of the film. I, I didn't even think about that. Like, you know, we easily could get some sort of like Bardock story event or something like that. You know, Bardock is such a popular character. I, I think that probably will happen sooner rather than later as well. So, all right. So here, you know, is Gogeta versus Broly, the main focal point of the film. Gogeta just absolutely whips Broly's ass. Uh, Broly doesn't really... <laughs> like, does Broly even get one hidden? Like, I, I think he does, like, punch Gogeta once. But, like, like that's it? Like, it's... Gogeta is just, it's like, how, okay, I would almost say the Broly Gogeta fight, it, it's like Vegito versus Super Boo, right? Except it's in movie form, like, although, Super, Vegito allowed Buhan to hit him, you know, just kind of uh, clowning around trying to stall so that uh, Boo would try and absorb him, right? Whereas Gogeta doesn't actually let <laughs> Broly, like, hit him, he just dominates him in every way, like, that, that's what's funny. Broly doesn't take the full power form until he's already fighting uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta. And then, like, the full power form basically gets zero hits in. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, you, you compare that to the Dragon Ball Z movies where legendary Super Saiyan Broly... What, oh, 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 yo! Look at that bad man right there. But, you know, go back to the OG legendary Super Saiyan Broly. He destroyed everyone. Like, he, he was clowning Gohan... Goku, Piccolo, Trunks, all them fuckers at once, just obliterating them, and, uh, we don't really get that in the, uh, the Broly movie, it's just, <laughs> he just gets beat down, I mean, we're definitely gonna see Broly again, too, at some point in Dragon Ball Super, uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they bring him in, you know, are, are they gonna use him as a crutch 
to show off like an eventual new villain's power. So like, you know, some new villain shows up and the way that they show to the audience that this villain is insane is by having him destroy Broly. You know, that's possible. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I would say that could be uh, very likely could be the fate of Broly. But, uh, you know, I would. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so that's where that art is from. Uh, now, if you guys recognize this, this does appear to be the art that we saw in V Jump. If you guys remember, there was a second blue Gogeta they showed in V-Jump. That is also not used. Yeah, that's not a card art right there. Okay, so these are two card arts that are not used as of right now. They're just little images in this story cutscene right there. For all we know, those could be two new cards eventually taking place in the future. Uh, oh, interesting. And they also don't show... That was the last stage, so... They don't show how the film concludes. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense, right? You know, I, they didn't mind giving us all these details up till now, but they didn't want to give away the ending, even though they have kind of shown the ending in the uh, a trailer. So, I, I don't know. Very, 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 very odd. But, all right. So, boom. There we go. We're, we're done with the Broly story event. Uh, I guess now I'm just going to go ahead and start grinding up, you know, get the blue Goku, the Broly, and the Frieza Awakened. Uh, obviously, all of them are spectacular cards, so I, I do want to get that uh, taken care of soon. Uh, especially, you know, the blue Goku and the Frieza, like, for free-to-play units, they're, like, both of them, even blue, blue Vegeta, blue Goku, and the Frieza are better than many banner SSRs you could pull out of those banners now. Like, many, many uh, units you could pull, you're much better off going with the Frieza, Vegeta, or the Goku. So, they really are doing very good with free-to-play units, and I think that's one reason this celebration is definitely, uh, you know, a, a passing grade five stars from me, is they gave a whole bunch of stuff to everyone, so it does work out very well. But, all right, guys, I will go ahead and finish up here. Uh, we got a bunch more showcases and stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.